Hey everyone, welcome back to VR is Awesome. And we're gonna do another game here. This one's called Moss. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's a very cute game, but uh, wait, wait, what are, you, what are you doing, honey? Honey, what are you doing with that? Honey, wait. Hello everyone. Um, so we're gonna start playing a game named Moss, and uh, even though it shows a cute, beautiful hey. little mouse, you're not technically you're not the mouse. You're the person who controls or helps helps the mouse in, in her adventure. And um, I try playing it a little give, bit before, give me a and or just something. for those who are recording, hey. <laughs> they're gaming. Just remember to you press the record me. button. <laughs> and otherwise you'll be playing for two Give hours and then figure Oculus. just find out that there's nothing hey. recorded. One second, guys. What what? Cállate la boca. Que me da dolor de cabeza. Hey. Okay, I'm back. Um so yeah. Lesson learned. <laughs> Probably for a good thing because I, I didn't do very well the first time. So let's go through this adventure one more time and just enjoy the beautiful scenery just being here in this beautiful church is just amazing just look at this look at the details look at the the lights the light coming through the the windows i mean it is just amazing the amount of details in this game on and it, once you start playing it gets even more amazing so for sure, so far, I really like the game, even though some of the quests are a little, a little tricky, a little challenging for me. You might figure out how to do it faster than me, but yeah, enough talk, and let's just play this wonderful game. And, oh, uh, before we start, I just wanted to make another point, too. You, um, you can play this game sitting down, which I'm doing right now, and before I tried <laughs> sitting on my very comfortable recliner bad idea do not play this game on your recliner because it's throughout the game you have to bend down and if you're sitting or laying down or your group recliner, recliner is kind of difficult but yeah just a, a little a little chair a little swivel chair will be just perfect all right that let's begin so we start with turning turning the pages turning pages and maybe let's turn the page. There we go. <laughs> let's turn to the next page. Your time has come at last, dear reader. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No. It is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? We shall begin. Turn the page. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. First, they killed the king. A Not winged king. creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the Serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the Underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the King power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. The King's Guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the Arcane's evil. Every room was gutted. Every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. 
Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the Kingsguard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed the Temple Passage that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. Hello. You can see me. Hi. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close and night would follow. All right. Guess it's time to go. Let's go, little Quill. It's a ladybug! Oh, we have no time to play the with ladybug. Go, little quill! Okay, so something uh, for those who are new to the game. Very simple things. Usually the control is to move your little friend here around. Um, and then you can actually pull and push some some of these boxes. Like this time, I can actually pull it, and this will help with some of the quests. And there's a, a little bit of jumping and other things around. And oh, oh also, there's some uh, some scrolls that you find in certain places. Like I don't see any scrolls here. Might be a, a hidden one that I'm probably missing. <laughs> no, I don't think I see anything. Oh, maybe there's something there. Nope. There's nothing there. So let's just get on with the mission. Just jump over here. And make sure you're very careful with your jumps. You probably don't want to kill little Quill, right? I'm gonna keep you around for a long time. Just jump up. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> and away she goes. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I'm trying to remember if I picked up any scrolls here. Um, oh, there's one right there. Let's see how we get to that scroll. Here. We need to go up there actually. Yeah, we need to go around. We can jump here. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. But Quill preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. She's pointing. What are you pointing at? Actually, no, you don't have to jump there. You can shimmy, 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 and let go. You got it. And then we just jump down. Yeah, this game, I have to say, uh, haven't played too much VR to be honest, but this one's super simple. If anyone has problems with motion sickness, I haven't had any problems with motion sickness at all. And so far, so good. And we got a scroll. Da -da! And I believe those scrolls give you like extra crystals because eventually your little guy will get hurt. And you'll have the power to heal your your friend here. So it's a very good idea to keep collecting those scrolls. The little village, so cute. Where is she? I don't see her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Was checking to see if I missed any of those extra scrolls, but all good. We keep going. Aha, there's one right there. All right, so maybe we can jump up here. No, maybe not. We can open those doors, but I want to get that scroll, so I guess we can jump. So see those li the whitish lines? Those usually signal you where you, you can jump. I can jump over here. And I can jump over there. I don't think I need to jump that way. I can just jump across. And get the little scroll! <laughs> I was hoping, you know, I tried last time to go up this tower, but no, you can't even ring the bell or anything, but oh, we got the scroll and on to the adventure. Oh, oops. Hope you're okay, little guy. Little girl, sorry. <laughs> I know you're a cute little girl. My bad. I tried to talk to some of the villagers, it just don't, doesn't work. Say hi. Can we play a game? Do we dance? Anything? No? No. Oh, no fun. If you just take the time and just look around at this beautiful scenery, it is just, it is amazing. It is just great. Like I've tried some of those Zen videos to just relax and listen to calming, relaxing music, and this will be like the perfect Zen <laughs> uh, VR experience. You can just sit there and just enjoy everything. Just look at the tiny little mice just walking around. Oh, yeah, I missed that. I, I tried to go inside before it didn't work. Why is that fat little mouse? Sitting there, we well, just fishing. We won't let him fish when he... well, I guess we can keep on going. Alright, so the 
think I do remember how to do this. So the first time I tried to do this, um, I, I killed little Quill at least like three times. Oh, before I do anything, for those who don't want to get any spoilers, I should have a warning, spoilers alert. Um, I figure some of the things out and you might probably find a faster way to do things. So anyway, let's try to do it get together. So you can just click on this thing to make it slower. Oh, I missed my chance. Let's try this again. There we go. And just take your time. This is the main thing. Don't rush it, because that's what I did in the beginning, and that's how I ended up getting my little mouse. And from here, you just shimmy, 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 and up. There you go. Parkour. There's a lot of parkour in this game. <laughs> Careful in this area. Don't slip, don't fall. Mm -hmm. Okay, you made it. And here comes the next part. I'm just gonna wait. Just gonna wait for my chance to walk across. Almost there. Almost there. I just Press and hold pretty much. And then there you go. And that's it. You got it. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. The okay, so now we need to jump down. Just take your time, be patient with the game. And my biggest problem was trying to go too fast. Just, just relax and enjoy the, the wonderful game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she's got a little, a little sword that's awesome. Let's see if I can jump down here. Yes, I can. Now you can jump across. You got it. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. I still understand why you can't ride that squirrel. I wish I could. I just want to ride that squirrel. Ride the squirrel. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, Something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous. He said with great concern. 
If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Oh, she's cuter. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. Yeah. I promise, she said yeah, reluctantly, like... wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. This is the, one of the places that I just love. All the little details, all the tiny little miniatures. It's just so awesome. Like she's just sitting in a tiny little chair, on the, just drinking away. Oh. Yep, Sparkly wants to talk to you. Hey, kid! Kid! Wake up! <gasps> hey, kid, this. over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Who are you calling a sidekick? Okay, best friend. Quill called out. Hey! Starving! Wait! Just want to check things around. scroll. That's the other thing about the scrolls that I would suggest. Um, just always look around. Even if you don't see them, you might find a hidden one somewhere. I'm probably missing a bunch of them, but you know, so just, uh, just want to have fun with the game. Not Quill had like never met a starving. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, Mischief followed. Mischief. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Again, with doors and anything you need to pull, just hold the button, so press the button, hold, and then you pull or push. Quill demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? The trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. Who are you calling a giant? I do remember climbing this way. There we go. And then you just move things around. There we go. Got this. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That's one of the portraits of 
you're gonna start seeing more of those portals as you go around this, this area with the forest and going through all the quests. When you jump, you take your time so you don't fall. <laughs> this way, kid, urge the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> This is where I struggle in the beginning, so what you need to do is the stones, and again, spoiler alert, I mean, you have to make sure you bend down and pull them up. If you do fall in the water, you actually die, so FYI. I think I do remember how to get to that scroll. I did figure it out. So if you press, I think it's the, let me just double check which button it is, but you have a button that you can press to get her sword out. I'll just double check which one it is. I believe it's B. Yeah, A is for clicking on things and B. So you just press the B button and then with A you just Actually, not B. So, B to take the sword out and just keep clicking on B to, um, to get things out of the way. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> she is adorable. <laughs> Did that. <laughs> the deer's like, what was that? The little mouse. Hi, deer. you don't care. I always wonder why there was more over here and like I'm missing something, but I guess not. We'll just keep on going. Oh, there's another scroll over here. Again, you can, with B, you take your sword out and then B again to get sticks and grass out of the way. And just get that scroll. Oh. See, those scrolls are more than I thought. They look like they're, they give you more stuff, more than just crystals. They, that looked like a stone. Whoops. That's alright. Oops. Can go back. 
I still can figure out what makes that sound. It just sounds creepy. I don't want to find out that's what's making that sound. <laughs> what is Squirrel's back? I want to ride the squirrel. Can I? No. Just on the other side is the mire. The starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Press and you pull. And you make sure you don't fall in the water like I mentioned before. Ah, I did it! So far I haven't killed Quill, not even once. I'm, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> There she is. I feel like this is like a marsh or something. <gasps> Did you hear that? Battle. The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. Uh, we can't make any promises. <laughs> Oh, those pink thorns can actually give, uh, yeah. But I can heal her. I can actually heal her. Yeah, you just press, press and hold the button and it will heal her. Like to check this little area, see if there's anything that's hidden. Oh, um, that's your thing. If you see any statues like those, usually you can move the statues somewhere to open doors like this one. You can pull it a little bit. And voila! Gate is open. Just make sure you have your sword out to get rid of those thorns. Also make sure you you cut them properly because uh, I made the mistake at once of just cutting half of it and I still got her killed. <laughs> I just love the sound she makes. It's just adorable. Okay, Quill, get it. Get that thorn. Oh man, I see. You can't get too close either. Oh, good. No more scratchy for you. Mm, go this way. I can't really see. Yes, yes you can. And you can build shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. She reminds me a little bit like Prince of Persia. If you guys ever played that game in, gosh, in the 90s. <laughs> There's a lot of shimmy around. <laughs> Now why did I do that? Oh, here. Get my sword out. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Alright, is there a scroll somewhere? Why did I come here? Oh, maybe I can... Nope. I can jump and I can jump across, maybe? Right, maybe there is something here. Uh, hmm. It's like the game is telling me to go that way. Like there's something hidden. And, or then again, there might be nothing there. And just death. <laughs> That's all there is. Just death. Uh, oh, poor please do not die. I mean, you're doing so good. Or just jump over there. I'm just gonna play it safe, guys. If I don't see... Hmm. Yeah, somebody's gonna be safe. You missed it! It was right there! That's her. I'm just gonna... Just showing you guys what the game looks like and... I'm just promoting it as much as possible because I think it is a beautiful game. 
It truly is. I haven't been playing BR for too long, and I have to say, this is like the perfect intro for someone who's never done this before. Okay, so in this area, again, spoiler alert, um, there's gonna be all these beetle type creatures, and they're they're very nasty. And I I poor quill to die many times. So what works for me, what, uh, with my style of fighting, is just dodge, just dodge, run and dodge, run and dodge as much as possible, and and um, hopefully she doesn't die. Um, and take care of those thorns too, if you can. If you have a chance to take care of the thorns, that's something that I figure out was very helpful. And this is for the thorns first. Oh, I didn't have time to do the rest. Oh well, here we go. Like you wait for them to attack you first. And then you attack them. First again. Oh, run, run, run. Good job. And there's gonna be another one. So they can get that sword. Oh, oh, oh. Whisper echoed through the trees. Fought like someone who has stolen our champion's power. A small yet fantastical band of sprites emerged surrounding Quill. I'm Veda, root seer of the mire, and you have crossed into our domain. She sized up Quill with a rueful gaze, then turned her attention upward. I sense you there, too. I have not felt the presence of such a promising reader in some time. A youthful warrior marched forward. Ruthseer, I'm prepared to honor our great champion's legacy. Rodent, give us our glass. That's rude. Quill stepped closer. Where is my uncle? If you've hurt him... Silence! Veda thundered back. It was Argus who summoned us here, and now I see why. Young one, I'm afraid the trees hum of attack. Your uncle's been taken to the castle of your ancestors. Quill's knees buckled as Veda continued. Argus put himself at great risk calling for us. Your uncle once took a solemn oath to protect the glass of your fallen king. He is the only one left who knows where it's been hidden. The Arcane have long sought to wrest that knowledge from him. 
And do you dare to cross into the mire with our glass? Sarfog will soon burn through this forest looking to tear you and your reader apart. Unless, of course, you find them first. Take these. Weapons made for the mighty champion who died so that your people could live. Quill felt its otherworldly power course through her. Find your uncle, Twofold, before the serpent and its masters break him. The warrior fumed. Hourglass with her? Ruthseer, she's minuscule. Come now. The reader has chosen its hero. We must let their story unfold. Vader replied with a frost of finality and vanished into the shadows of the mire. You quill's cuter than you. See, I think I'm gonna stop the game here. Um, the next part of the story gets a bit more intricate and more challenging with different quests we're jumping and opening doors and closing doors and fighting more monsters sometimes three or four at a time and I thought that this would be a great place to just stop and, and just enjoy whatever I show you guys today oh there's a scroll there that's what I wanted to get before I wanted to get that scroll okay before I end the game let's get that scroll <laughs> And that'll be it. Just make sure when you're jumping, don't let go of the, the A button. So that's what it did before. And then poor little quill ended up dying. Many, 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 many times. Let's see if I can make it. <gasps> uh, oh, I had it. I always had it. Let's try. Take two. We can do it again. <laughs> this is what happens when you get a bit impatient and you start making a lot of mistakes. Just, just take it easy. And just one step at a time. I just enjoy the scenery as well. Alright, here we go. Oh, you got that scroll. Alright, I'm going to end the game here, right after I got the scroll. Like I said, this is a beautiful game. I, I would just... I'll let, I'm going to share my comments and, sh and promote this game as much as possible because I think it's worth it. It's, it's just fantastic. Uh, five stars, <laughs> for sure. And I forgot to introduce myself, I'll do it now. My name is Timmy Bunny. I used to stream on Twitch many, many years ago, and I just decided to do this quick, short little video just to help out Spike with some of his videos. And maybe I don't know if you'll find this useful, or maybe just silly and quirky. I I don't know. <laughs> maybe just say hi to little Quill. She'll eventually just gonna start waving at us because no, we're not going anywhere, right, Quill? No, she doesn't care. <laughs> All right, we'll say say goodbye, Quill. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. <laughs>